Welcome back, everyone, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Cloud has given Sephiroth the Black Materia, and then Cloud and Aerith fell. A Sith sacrificed himself, and we are beginning the final chapter. Exciting, isn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please leave your comments. I would love to read them. And of course, as always, thank you for watching. Almost there. Chapter 14, End of the World. Song is in grave condition. <laughs> Perhaps I could help. No, you're just gonna no. turn him into some kind of weird the medical team will see freak him. of nature. I think you have enough material. Hmm. Tell me, Professor. How would you explain the phenomena we witnessed at the temple? It would be premature to draw any scientific conclusions. But one thing is abundantly clear. We at Shinra could stand to dream far bigger. <laughs> I would have to agree. To the right, Shinra HQ, where Hojo should be, along with a cure for Cloud. To the left, Reactor 6, which will get blown up along with Biggs unless I stop him. He's got her ribbon. His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people. Sorry, one more question. Does Aerith... Does she have feelings for Cloud? Yeah, she likes him. She does, huh? Can't say I saw that coming. <laughs> Cause you weren't there. <laughs> Hang in there, Cloud. I got you. Whoa. What is this? Are we? <laughs> we could call it a homecoming. Or homeward bound, maybe? <laughs> Let's just call it a dream. My dream, to be precise. What the hell are you... Shh. Just play along for a bit, okay? What is happening? This is the stopping point. Oh, fuck. Ah! Okay, yeah, I do have to go. Oh, God, okay. So, Aerith 
and Cloud were here in Sector 5 woke up and it, I'm not sure which is this our cloud in Aerith? Kind of seems like it was. Let's see what we can explore. Nope. Why would you lock that door? I guess if Shinra has helicopters, they could get, come in through that balcony window, so. Never mind. Can't be too careful. Let's take a walk, okay? Ah, one thing. You have to promise not to look up. Hmm? Because I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm gonna have to look now, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? Check it out. Come on. <laughs> Ta-da! Can I have one? Can I? Can I? Can I? What is happening right now? Please. <clears throat> Which one do you want? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free. But remember, it's one per person. This is it. After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? <laughs> I... Uh, what? Hair clip, the pink hair clip, the gold bracelet, the stamp figurine. I like the hair clip. I don't know. That one. Ah, I'm so sorry. I meant everything but that one. Of course you <laughs> did. Tell you what, I've got something else I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. Perfect, even. <laughs> you kidding me? I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. <laughs> now, where to next? Why does this make me feel so uncomfortable? That way. Come on. <gasps> oh, okay. All right, you know, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> it's your lucky day, you two. Feel free to take whatever you'd like. Oh, but only one per person. Then we better choose wisely. I don't know if this is like a dream. If we got transported to this other parallel dimension version of the world it does seem like 
the connection like they're they're connected how do i say it because biggs died in we'll just call it cloud's timeline and zach's timeline uh oh the the stamp the stamp is the is zach's timeline stamp okay so we're we're definitely in the timeline of zach or we're dreaming about it but it's like so confused <laughs> i'm so confused it's like they're intermingling like they're supposed to be completely separate and there's supposed to be like a partition between them this multiple dimensions probably don't exist i'm just making up rules <laughs> but they're they're like um think of a venn diagram right they're like overlapping and so th weird things can happen but I don't know. I just I don't know. Okay, what do we want? Stamps, champs, Osmo candy, or choco sticks. Um, I gotta go with the chocolate because it's me. I'll take one of those. Then I'll have one of those. All right. Hmm. Though these aren't the only treats I've got, you know. How about... We already made our decision. My latest creation. Oh. Really? Let's try it. Sure. Go on, enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Figured I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. If only we all had more time, am I right? Oh. Media? Pretty sure I only asked to meet with Professor Hojo. Not a whole platoon. Whatever. The world's about to end anyway. Got nothing to lose. And everything to gain. Coming through, boys! So this is where you've been hiding, in a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I've only got one shot left. Huh? We were next. We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos together. We don't have any either. <laughs> Aerith. Okay, um, how about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. A modeling pose, the it's showtime pose, a dance hold. Oh, oh, the dance hold. Okay, you two, smile real big for the camera now. Hold on, Biggs. I'm coming. <sighs> what 
gives? Reactor busted? Seems it's all out of Mako. Pump's still sucking away, but the only thing it's pulling up is dirt. Uh, meaning? That the life stream's bone dry. Bomb one reactor, bomb them all. Planet's done either way. <clears throat> and so are we. Run! <clears throat> through testing. Figures it'd fail for real. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even make a damn bomb. You're not useless. For a moment there, I thought my life might have some meaning, but... It doesn't mean shit. That's not true, Biggs. That's well, not true. that's where you're wrong. Wanna know why? Because you mean a lot to a lot of people. So come on, man. Thanks, but... Why are you here? Yeah, about that. Never mind, I know. Kinda obvious now I think about it. World may be ending and all, but... A bombing's still a bombing. That's part of it, too. But mostly, I was worried about you. That bleeding heart. It'll get you killed. I don't know. I just... I wanted to take action. Take charge. Take control. To know that I had a choice. That this path, this world was one I chose. I wanted to take back my life. Hmm. Oh. No! Eight. Buddy? No. No. Biggs, get up! to die like that? End of the road, huh? Fate's got one twisted sense of humor. And I'm always the punchline. But I'm sick of taking it shit! Does it have something to do this with my Sephiroth? Life. I make the rules! Ah! See you never! Bye! Hell yeah! <laughs> Is it because Sephiroth got the black material? Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. Now then. Where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? The you playground? really have to ask? It's one of my most favorite places. The church? Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> Girl, you have a lot of favorite places. I don't know. We met at the church. We had a nice moment at the playground. Cloud. Biggs. Random or Johnny? <sighs> How the hell am I supposed to choose? <sighs> it's 
Sephiroth. Sephiroth is just hey. fucking with everybody. You want a piece of me? No. Not you. It was all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? Well, it isn't over yet. Zach, whatever the fuck you're trying to do, I believe in you. This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? Yeah. Next time. <sighs> At least I know now. Where you and I stand, I mean. <sighs> Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then... Like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's... Liking. So do you like me? Or Seriously? do you like like me? What's going on? Or do you like me? It's been weird all day. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud. For everything. What is this? of reality.
when the boundaries of fate are breached. New worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Okay. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. And in the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Defy destiny together. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Let go of the past, Cloud. For the future is bright. We are to bear witness to the reunion of worlds. The reunion. I give you my blessing. Don't want it. Long here. Very poor form. Well, you know what? Aerith plays by her own rules, okay, Sephiroth? Okay, what the fuck? Is, is anybody else as confused or is currently as confused as I am at this point? Because what the hell? Okay, so I don't even know how many like questions they're going to answer by the end of this particular game um, and how many questions they're going to leave open to the third part. But that's just a lot to take in. I've had some scattered thoughts um, here and there so there's like multiple worlds kind of coexisting at the same time like a multiple 
dimension or multiple reality kind of theory kind of thing maybe um or different timelines and I I wonder if both Sephiroth and Aerith can see and have lived in multiple of these like their memories are retained and they're kind of at odds with each other trying to change things to end or something to come about that they want because at first i thought the black whispers were being controlled by sephiroth and the white ones were being controlled by the planet and that still could be correct but i think that Aerith is either the one who is controlling this is just my current theory it's probably going to change in like five minutes but I think Aerith is maybe controlling the the white whispers because when Zack got like saved by the white whispers after Sephiroth pushed him and the black whispers were like pulling him down and then the white whispers came and he was going towards like the light and he's like I'm not gonna give up we saw the petals that were from the flowers that were in the church so Aerith is definitely in I feel like she's involved Either she's like the the medium that the planet is using to carry out its will or or at the very least or maybe it's just she her against Sephiroth and I mean that's pretty much all I got right now <laughs> and like the the very threads of reality are breaking because normally these different timelines or these different worlds would be completely separated from each other like i'm saying but then the the lines getting blurred and they're overlapping and biggs is going from like one to the other and clouds going from one to the other and back and then Aerith said that her crit her whole her materia her white materia it, it didn't have any power anymore like it lost its color and I don't remember if that was the Aerith from our Aerith or from Zach's. It had to be our Aerith. And so Aerith took the white materia, which I guess is holy, the materia from Zach's timeline, and she gave it to Cloud to bring back into our timeline or world. And Sephiroth said, oh, that doesn't belong here. That's bad form. So basically, I think he was talking about Aerith, not Cloud, but Aerith being like, oh, you, you, you naughty girl, you know, you're not, that's, you're breaking the rules, girl. That's not how this game is played. Those are my thoughts right now. I'm kind of glad that I don't have chat open right now because <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you guys have a lot of theories also. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just keep playing. And so, in the OG game, Sephiroth is defeated. And I think he's trying to find a world or create a world where he where he wins. And he's, I think he's been, he hasn't been successful thus far. But because he is Sephiroth, he's so powerful. He has some powers of Genova, as well as Mako. So he can kind of transcend his death. I don't know. <laughs> place looks neat okay here are the white ones well we meet again you're okay 
Sephiroth's here. I can feel him, watching us. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Remember this scene, Leave Bakley? Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. I'm the OG. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. But now, it belongs with you. It looks empty. Aerith? Aerith! Come back! I think we'd all like to catch up with her right now and stop her or hug her or go with her or something. Do you forgive me, Barrett, for Cloud. what I did? Please tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. 
She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is, Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning oh. he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And we kinda gave it to Aaron him. said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there, all alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. Something from Aerith. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay. Then how exactly did he get the materia from you? Wait, they didn't see? You don't always have to play the badass, you know. Alright, fine. You win. He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. Oh, she covered for fault. him. It's kind of mine too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. Must have been some dream you were having, judging by the way your eyes were twitching. Don't know if I'd call it a dream. Either way, something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. I got sent to another world. Apparently, there's at least a few more than one. <sighs> Is that right? I'd explain, but I don't think I can. It's all right. Doubt I'd want to hear it anyway. Is it just me, or...? Is there something weird about this mist? There is. Do you see them in it too? The whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid to say it, but if the whispers control fate, then does that mean we were destined to be separated from Aerith? Maybe. Uh, why'd I have to open my mouth? I don't even know. I mean, what is fate even? Is, is fate controlled by some kind of higher being? Some kind of like, not higher being, but like... Uh, what's the word? When you have, when you don't have a stake in either side, you're neutral. There's a word for it. Um, but anyways, or is it, you know, Sephiroth, or whatever. Hey Cloud, promise me, if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know, okay? Weird thoughts? thoughts like... For example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk to me or someone at least. All right, I can do that. I love this little talks with everybody. Cloud? You're so supportive. I've apologized to everyone else, but not to you. So I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happen to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, I'm still pretty pissed. <laughs> Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Still, I'll do what I can to help, and we'll fry those fish together. Sounds like a plan. What are y'all looking at me for? Oh my god. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. How did he get here before us? 
This is it, right? You know, I think it is. Yeah, Gramps told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the Forgotten Capital. He said it was the heart of Cetran civilization, but I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams Fancy Altar. Garrett's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. Get our girl. Oh. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. Oh, so the Black I'm Whispers waiting, from the first game from Remake were... The planet. What is all this? Destiny, whatever. It's the end. But the ones in this game are all Sephiroth. Sephiroth. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. done to this place I wanted to explore the forgotten capital with the music and, and it looks all beautiful and pristine they just wrecked it why are these ones white I don't know they sure don't like us I'm so confused I thought the white ones were the good ones Whispers are on the field, they will conjure a ward and apply various buffs and debuffs to the party. After they conjure a ward or when only two whispers remain, their cores will glow red and they will be pressured. <laughs>
It's on you. All right, watch and learn. I guess we want to use magic on them. They seem to not take much damage from. Audit. Let's do this. From physical attacks. Look at Yuffie and Red. They're like, fuck this, we're leaving. We out. Good luck saving the world. Well, they are all playing buffs to us. Let me do prayer real quick. All set. We can use the summon. Let's do it. These guys are annoying. I think, um... I don't know. I guess Phoenix. We're counting on you! these guys in the previous game as well. Take the lead. Yeah, I'll do it. Out of my way. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. That was my third guess. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Aerith. the most like mentally fucked up one through <laughs> maybe Sintifa <laughs> okay 
let's do this. City of the Ancients. Whoa. whispers. That's a lot of freaking whispers. Whoa, look at this place. It reminds me of something from like Elden Ring. Earth is praying at the altar in hopes of putting a stop to Sephiroth's plans. There will be no chance to rest beyond this point. Make sure your party is prepared for whatever may come before you rush to her side. Oh shit, this is it, it. Let's buy hella elixirs. Oh, they only have one. Fuck. <laughs> mm. Then let's buy hella giga potions. Oh. Um. Okay. 